Welcome back to another episode and on the channel today we're actually going to be working on the Hilux. Now this thing it actually doesn't get a lot of love on this channel anymore. It's mainly with the 75 series but now that that's pretty much done I thought we'd turn our attention to this and I want to basically give this a new heart. Now what do I mean by that? The 12 volt system. I've got something in here. I've got 120 amp AGM but today we're actually going to take it to 200 amps of lithium. But before I can show you any of that and the goodies that I have in store, I've got to get these seats out and then rip out what's already there. Let's get stuck into this and then I'll show you what we've got to go in. Alrighty, so we've got the back seat out. Now we can see what I had in here. This here, this is an AGM battery, really, really heavy. This is from Kickass. Um, it's 120 AGM. Um, I've also got my battery monitor. I've got the Kickass DC DC charger, which I'm going to be switching out as well. And you can just see everything's. Um, it's not too bad. Um, it's it, a setup that worked. But to go with more power, I just found I was running my 80 liter fridge, and it just wasn't quite keeping up and wasn't quite doing exactly what I needed it to do. I just needed that extra bit of power and um, everything that I'm reading about lithium, it is the way to go. I'm very keen to see the weight difference in this. Alrighty, well, we've got the box open. So let's have a quick little look at what we've got. We've got the uh, Red Arc Smart Battery Monitor. We've also got the Red Arc DC DC. Now this is a 40 amp, so it's gonna give heaps of juice um, into the battery from uh, the solar and uh, alternator as well. We've got some tie downs, we've got some bolts, and then we have exactly what we are after. This here is our battery. Oh my goodness, this thing looks so good. Well, we're in the car, we've got the old kick-ass one out, um, so that was pretty easy. Now I've still got a jumble of wires down here, but I'm gonna use them for the next one because uh, well, why waste what's already been done, right? It comes with these beautiful brackets. You can see I haven't even taken my um, my sticker off yet. This is our new, um, basically, tray holder. There's two of them, so this is the big one, and then there's a smaller one, which is for the DC-DC charger. Now, the first job in doing this, uh, especially if you've got a Hilux, is this back wall carpet needs to go. So there's a couple of clips and then the carpet should be able to um, come out pretty easily, to be honest. I already had a little section cut out for my previous one, but if you're doing this with your Hilux, you'll obviously have the full carpet. So take it all out, um, and then from there, we'll be able to insert, I'm guessing, the nut certs and screw in our battery tray. So we'll, uh, we'll do that now, and hopefully we can get the battery mounted pretty quickly. I've taken off the uh, the sticky backing. It's looking nice and shiny now. And as you also would have seen, I've taken off the carpet on the back wall. Now I've got to give it a bit of a clean up, but we're just test fitting a few things. So this is obviously where the battery is going to mount. Um, now it goes in here. There's actually three, see these three slots here? They actually line up, if you can see, three holes um, in the back. Now Custom Lithium have actually supplied the, um, the nut rivets, the nut certs. The only thing is with these three holes, you just need to drill them out a little bit more for these nut certs to go into. So right now I'm gonna get my drill. I'm not gonna explain uh, what nut certing is. I've done a thousand times on it. I've just got a little um, King Chrome kit here from Bunnings. Um, I think it's less than $100. So go and um, get yourself one of those, but you'll definitely need it for this job. So I'm gonna drill that out, put this in, and then my three screws, and that will be our tray ready to mount the battery. We've got one, two, three and that's gonna line up perfectly. So now, let's put in the tray and we'll bolt these in. So now, we put this here and we can see that they line up, which is exactly what we want. And so I'm gonna come in here, put a few of these screws in just so it can hold it in place. One there, one here. Now the battery tray's in. I'm gonna nip these up real quick and then I'm gonna get the battery and I can actually slide it in here 
and uh, we are cooking with gas. Now, on to the next thing is uh, this here. This is the tray to mount the DC-DC charger. It goes on the far right hand side of it. So for now, I'm gonna mount this. Um, it's literally the exact same process. Nut search, screw it in. So I'll do that off camera for me. It'll probably be uh, 10, 15 minutes, but for you, it'll literally be a second. I've got this side in now, and I also have put in the DC-DC charger. Now you would have seen in the pack uh, that I actually got a Red Arc 40 amp DC-DC charger. Now the only reason that I'm not chucking that in now is because I've got a trip and this one here is just all plug and play. That one requires a lot more work and I'm under a bit of a time pressure. So I'm gonna whack this, this one in for now and then later on I can switch them out. Um, but I've got a trip coming up so I really need to get this sorted. Alrighty, well, we have come to the end of this video, and as you can see, the battery is now installed. We've got the DC-DC charger, everything's connected, everything is working, and um, I am just loving this. It is so thin, it is awesome. So, I've only got one more job to do. That is put in the rear seats, and then, well, I can actually start using it, and uh, start using 200 amp hours of lithium power. Well, there we have it. I am I'm now sitting in the back seat, which I hardly ever do. Um, there's got to be a baby seat that goes back here. This is where Judah obviously sits. But the back seat is in, and you would never know that there is a 200 amp hour lithium battery that weighs half the uh, the weight of the AGM battery. Well, that's all we have for this episode. I really hope that you've enjoyed this one. Um, and it's so good to finally give some love to the Hilux. Now I'm really keen to get out and use this again. If you want to see anything more around the custom lithium, highly recommend, especially if you're local to Brisbane, you can actually pop down, go to their showroom uh, and just see all the batteries that they've got and actually speak to the guys. So it's good, they're a local company. Um, I highly recommend them. Very thankful that they've actually been able to provide me with this battery as well. I wouldn't recommend something that I don't genuinely uh, believe in products that I actually like and brands I like to work with. So with that, if you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.